Hello crochet lovers, welcome back to our channel where we learn to crochet step by step. Today we'll learn how to crochet with our fingers. With this pattern we'll learn to make with our fingers, we'll be able to make necklaces, garlands and other home decorating items, and we'll also be able to make hair accessories and of course, cowls that can be as warm as scarves. This is a technique that can be done from children 5 years and up. So you can make this project with your whole family. You can do this with any material, but if you want warmer coals, I suggest you use a thicker yarn made of acrylic. If on the contrary you want to make something for the summer or a necklace, you can use cotton yarns or maybe even try other materials such as silk or linen. My favorite material for bracelet, necklaces and others is trapillo because it looks super pretty. So now let's learn together how to crochet with our fingers, but before let me thank you for supporting my channel by clicking the like button and commenting and sharing this video. I will be using this yarn which is 100% acrylic, it's the Borealis collection from the brand Katia. Try to reach if you can't for the thread that's inside the yarn ball so that the ball does not lose its shape while we crochet. Now we'll make a slip knot, so we grab the long part, the one connected to the yarn ball, and we pass it over the short part. We just have to keep pulling the long part down here so that we create the little knot which is called a slip knot. This will be located around our left thumb if we are right handed or around our right thumb if we are left handed. Now what we'll do is we'll grab the yarn and we'll pass it under our index finger. Then over the middle finger, then under the ring finger, and over the pinky. This is how it should look. And now we'll go back but doing the opposite thing. So it's under the pinky, over the ring finger, under the middle finger, and over the index. After this, all of our fingers should be covered. They should look as if they had yarn rings around them. This is how it looks from the back. And now what we'll do is pull tight from this thread. Just don't hurt yourself, but pull tightly and then bring it under the fingers and then over the fingers. It should be laid over the yarn rings we made. And now we'll grab the first ring, the one around the pinky, and we'll pull it over. Like this so that we end up having a new ring around the pinky. Now it's turned for the ring finger, so we pull the yarn and then over the middle finger. And finally, we'll go with the index finger, which is normally the hardest one, but I'm sure you'll be able to do this. And after this, we'll have all new rings. Now just bring down all of those rings to the base of your fingers and we grab again the thread from the back in order to repeat the sequence. It doesn't matter if this gets a bit loose because it will get fixed with time. We have to bring the yarn under the fingers and then over the fingers. Remember to lay it over the rings. And now we begin. Pull the ring from the pinky, then from the ring finger, then from the middle finger, and finally, the one from the index finger. And now we just have to repeat those instructions, so remember you need to pull a bit from this thread. Then we pass it on there and over the fingers, and then we work on the ring around each of the fingers. So pinky, ring finger, middle and index. And then we do it again. We bring the rings down and repeat the sequence. we'll see that a sort of bag begins to form at the back of our hand. So just keep making the same instructions for a bit longer and in a little bit you'll see what happens with that little bag. Now it has gotten bigger, it looks a bit droopier. So it's a good time to release the knot from our thumb. We'll make it disappear by pulling on this side. And now at the back we'll pull from that initial thread. 
and we'll see that the project stretches. Pull as much as you can. You can always pull a little bit more than you think. This is done in order to set still our thread, especially at the very bottom. It should look like this. That's the look we'll create for our pattern. Don't cut this initial thread. Leave it there because we'll use it by the end of the project. And like I said, we'll just keep repeating the instructions until we have the size we want for our project. If you're making a necklace, it needs to go around your neck two or three times. But if you're making a sort of scarf, we need to make it go around your neck about 10 times. From time to time, we need to pull this sort of back from the back and this will help us see the real size of our project. If at any point you want to take a break, you just need to remove the four rings very carefully. And what I do is set some pens instead of my fingers so that the rings don't become undone. Whenever you want to start over, you also have to be very careful so that you maintain intact the four rings in the process. The only thing to do is keep going. This is about 2 meters of my project, but you need to make it be as long as you need for your project. What I do to measure it is simply set it around my neck. And if I'm happy with the length, I can cut the yarn, but leaving a thread of about 20 centimeters to keep working later on. Now, we'll make the thread's edge go under the ring around the pinky. Then we pull the thread and remove it from the pinky finger. Now we go under the ring finger. We pull from it and then we remove it from the finger. We do the same with the middle finger. Go under its ring and then remove it. And don't forget to do the same with the index finger. And now we can remove it. It's okay if it looks a bit weird. Just pull from the thread and you'll see how it gets fixed immediately. Now, since I'm planning to make a scarf, I'll attach both ends together with a knot. Or even better, three knots. And after them, we just give it the final touches. I'll measure it on me again to check that the diameter and size are correct. And now what I'll do is close this off with the initial and final threads. We'll go around the full project and we'll make another knot. Now I'll use these threads to make the final decoration. We can also set some crochet flowers or stars or any other decoration you can think of. This is a perfect time to use your imagination. This is the decoration I was mentioning to you. I could make it bigger by adding some extra yarn. And to hide this final part, what we're gonna do is use a yarn needle to make this side go in here. And then we just have to cut it close to the base. And that's it, crochet lovers and finger crocheters. Our scarf or any other project we wanted to make should be ready to be worn. This is the necklace I made, and remember, we can also make hair accessories or bracelets or any other gifts we want to give to our friends. So let me know in the comments what are you going to make with this tutorial. And show me your creations on social media. I'll see you on here next week. Have a great day, crochet lovers!